Hi everybody, this is Andrea. This is my very first webcast. I'm very excited about it. Um, I've been saying I'm going to do this and it's been a long time coming. Um, so I just kind of want to introduce myself and say hi. Um, I guess one of the things I wanted to talk about since it's my first vlog um, are some of the things that I'm using right now. Um, just to just to inform you, I'm, I'm not a makeup artist full time. This is something I do for fun on the side. It's something I do for friends and family, and you know, it's it's just like another hobby. Um, I know a lot of people do it full time, and that's wonderful for me. Um, right now, my family is full time, and that's where my passion is right now. Um, so let's just get started real quick. So I don't I don't want to um, dawdle a lot of things, and I, I get fidgety, by the way, um, so excuse that. Um, right now, I guess you could say um, that I'm a very big water drinker. I usually have one cup of coffee a day, but it's really for the taste. It's not for the caffeine, because the caffeine doesn't do anything for me. So, since I love water, I don't really like the taste, but um, I just bought this drink mix and it's from Walmart. I think it's like a dollar eight. This one's the raspberry limeade. It's really good. Um, I try to go through at least two bottles of water a day and it can get kind of challenging because water is supposed to fill you up and it does but sometimes it fills me up too fast and I'll be in the middle of my first bottle like in the middle of the morning and I'm like I can't drink anymore but um, these are really good. It says it has no sugar and five calories. So if for all you people out there that are dieting or whatever, um, it's a really good drink mix. It's um, it's something I've been using. They come ten to a box, so you get your use out of them. And I, I go through two bottles a day, so you do the math. Um, I got a new nail polish. This is the um, this is Bella the Ball. This is by Confetti, and I put it on my nails because. Um, you know, I'm bored of looking at the same color every week. So, um, I think this was $1.99. Uh, you can get these at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. I just picked this one up because it's pretty and because I saw um, one of my friends or um, Twitter and YouTube guru, Nur, uh, wear like a purple color. And um, I'm not a fan of shopping for nail polishes online because I can't try them. Just kind of like makeup, but um, for some reason I take a gamble on makeup more than I do on nail polishes. Um, so that's that's something that I, I picked up and put that on today. Um, the makeup I'm using today, I put on the MAC Prep and Prime, which it it really does work. It does. Um, it's worth. I think it's it's in the mid upper twenties as far as the price tag goes, but it's worth every penny because I use this. Um, one pump will get you your whole face. I mean, even more. Just depends on how you put it on, but um, it helps when you don't really um, have a lot of time to keep touching up on your makeup all day long and you're really just annoyed by that. I also use another tip from Nur, uh, the Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream that I got from Walgreens, five bucks. It works. It, it reduces the size of your pores, makes your face feel clean, has no scent, so it's perfect. Um, at night, I usually use the Take the Day Off from Clinique. I don't use a lot of Clinique products for the skincare because it makes me it makes my face dry out, so it's not something that I would recommend if you have a dry face already. Um, their yellow bottle lotion, I forgot the name of it, dramatic, whatever, I, I can't remember the name of it. Um, that works, but I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it if you have an already dry face like me. Um, I'm also using the MAC wipes. They're easy when you're lazy, like me, you don't feel like taking off makeup. Um, I have been using the Estee Lauder and the MAC foundation together. They're, uh, they, for me, they work well. Um, it gives you a matte finish, but I've kind of been looking for more of a sheer glow. So I bought the NARS Copacabana Illuminator, which it helps. It, it's just a little bit goes a long way, and for the price tag, you get your money's worth out of it if you use it very seldomly. So I wouldn't recommend it if you would go through the whole bottle in like a month. Um, it's like, I think it was like 29. Um, anyways, the SD Lauder Double Wear, I'm in Desert Beige and then in the MAC, I'm in the NC25 and, um, like I said, one pump of each does your whole face. I kind of try not to do too much 
of one or the other. I try to do less than half of the less than a pump because um, a little bit goes a long way and you don't need all that coverage unless you really want it. Um, I had intended on buying some lip glosses, but um, I told myself I don't need any more and I think I need to go on a lip gloss uh, where you don't buy them for a while. But I have been interested in a lot of lipsticks lately and the one I picked up was uh, Lady Gaga or Viva Glam Gaga 2, which uh, I love MAC lipsticks because they have a very nice um, vanilla scent. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, so I picked that up and I've also been using, I love Fabby and it is a frost color from MAC and it's actually that color right there. I love them together. I don't have to put on any gloss which saves me some time. My husband hates kissing me with lip <laughs> gloss on. So I use those together. I tweet about the stuff that I use on a daily basis. Um, I mean I, I I think together two different lip colors can make a different color you know I use um, a lot of MAC lipsticks just because they go on very sheer for me and the formula is very like it's not thick and goopy um, that's another thing I don't like about lipsticks and lip glosses which is why I don't really like the MAC lip glasses <laughs> um, but that's that's just I mean it's all for your own preference um, powder wise for touch ups I'm just using the double perfection natural matte powder and SPF 10 from Chanel because I don't go through a lot of powder I use it for touch ups because my eyeliner which I've used for about 10 years is the Alme liner and um, I love it it just um, sometimes throughout the day if I'm looking down a lot it tends to to fall and I don't like recognize so I always carry um, the powder, Q-tips, baby wipes, antibacterial, and hand sanitizer wipes. Just, I mean, like I went to Walmart today and I needed something to clean the shopping cart with. So I learned that from my sister, by the way. Um, as far as shadows go, I, I kind of, it varies. Um, I use today the, um, from, I can't pronounce it, hotlook, hotlook.com. Um, anyways, great website for sales. I bought the NYX Makeup Artist Palette, and it looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I kind of just use the shadows, or I tend to only use the shadows because it, you get a lot. I just, it varies with what shadows I use on a daily basis. And I don't normally color coordinate with my outfits like some people do. It's just how I feel on different looks. But this palette's great because um, you never need to buy any. <laughs> anything else again um, you, you know you've got your contouring your blushes and your um, bronzers in here along with some lip glosses on the side down here so I think this was like 12 bucks because a friend of mine referred or used my referral code um, which by the way I'll link to my Sigma Beauty uh, hotlook.com the Twitter and the uh, Facebook pages and everything down below I also have two blogs that I'm currently writing on so if you can't view the videos all the time you can still view my blogs and the links will be down below um, but as far as as far as shadows go it just varies I mean I also use the naked palette which it's a big seller and everyone talks about it and it's worth it if you're not gonna go buying in a lot of eyeshadows so it really just depends blushes let me just talk about this for a second because I have a problem with blushes I have a problem with MAC blushes because they don't come they don't apply very well for me I don't know if it's the, the brushes that I have I mean I have tons of different brushes it's just I don't know what it is and I'm doing wrong I've even tried to mix it with um, I got this from Michelle Bell I'm sorry Michelle I don't know your Twitter Michelle Bell 21 or 12 or something like that I'll put her her link down below too um, the chroma face glow from NYC uh, color this one is in uh, moonstone and I got this from her blog sale I use this more than I would use blush because this has more of a it has more paint it's more pigmented on my skin I don't know what it is and this light is really bad I'm sorry we have to get curtains put up in this room and if you follow my Twitter, you know I just painted it. Um, anyways, as far as the cheek color goes, I 
don't know how you feel about this and you know you can use any recommendations as far as blushes go. Um, I've been using the Smashbox Oglow Glow because it's your natural color you would blush with and it's it, for me it works well. I mean some people don't like it. Um, the cream blushes I don't like because they look too cakey and pasty so I don't ever use those. So I have a problem with blushes so if you can make some recommendations that would be really great. Um, but as far as the products go, that's about it. Um, the mascara I'm using, it's not some fancy mascara. This is the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. And I don't buy a lot of Maybelline products, but this one I really like because of the brush. It does pick up on all my lashes, which I have to say, I've been using some vitamins on a daily basis for, um, hair, skin, and nails. And I don't know if it's because I rub my eyes a lot, but the eyelashes fell off at one point and so I took them about a month ago and pff, my lashes are back to normal which I'm glad to say my hair hasn't grown very much but um, my eyelashes have so um, this is the only mascara I'm using this is in the black I use a lot of black I have brown eyeliner